Eric, how is Chicago treating you so far? Uh, man, it's been great. Just enjoying my time here. Um, just uh, enjoying every moment. And uh, been some long days, but uh, it's been a dream come true. What was your goal coming into this week? Um, just to show people that uh, I'm not just a scorer, but I'm, I'm a point guard, and uh, I can shoot the ball from all over the place, and uh, I can lead a team, and um, just uh, test out very well tomorrow. Can you show point guard skills in these kind of drills? Yeah, you can. I mean, just talking and communicating, leading, um, you know, cheering people on, uh, talking at all times, and uh, I think I did a good job of that today. What kind of feedback are you getting from NBA teams right now? Uh, very good feedback. A lot of teams see me as a, a sneak guy in the first round, late first round, and um, they got me drafted in uh, late first round or early second round, and um, they like what I can bring to a table, and I uh, can score the ball and play both one and two. It's an interesting class of point guards because there's some depth, but there's not a lot of separation there. How do you distinguish yourself? Um, just uh, showing everybody what I can do. Um, showing everybody that I can, you know, bring the ball to the court, have nice ball handling skills, um, lead. I'm a tall point guard with a wiry frame. I can play defense very well, and I can score the ball. I think that can separate me very well, that I can make tough shots. And um, just my leadership role, I've been getting good feedback on my leadership role. What was the key for you in making that jump from your junior to senior year? How did you improve so much? Um, just being in the gym nonstop, being in the gym two to three times a day and um, just working on my game nonstop, making 20,000 shots this summer. I think that was the key. My confidence went sky high, and, um, and I think from there, just my, my game went to a different level. Do you watch a lot of video? Uh, yeah, I watch a lot of film. Uh, my, going into my junior year, um, I worked with a guy, Dennis Wolf, who's our girls coach, but he worked with us. Um, we broke down a lot of film, and I got better at watching film and how to come up with a pick and roll. And uh, I just think I was, became a better player. Watching the, the playoffs, what do you take away from that about, you know, the difference between the college game and the NBA game? Uh, a lot of spacing, a lot of more pick and roll. The NBA is a pick and roll game. Um, it's physical, so I got to get stronger. And, uh, you know, the guys knock you around. And uh, in the playoffs, man, they let you play. So it's not no easy foul like you're going to get in college. They're going to let you play. And um, I think I'll be fine. I think I'll translate very well in the NBA. What are the questions that the teams have been asking you in the interviews? Uh, just about my strengths and weaknesses, about my family, uh, if I've been in any trouble. Uh, I'm just really trying to get to know my background, personality, if I've been in any, uh, had any uh, injuries, things like that. But, um, you know, everything's been re good. I think I've only had one off-the-wall question. It was, uh, why are potholes made? Uh, that was probably the only off-the-wall question I had, but uh, I was pretty... That was Why are potholes round? Exactly. Uh, honestly, man, I have no idea. I heard it because it's the climate. So they don't fall... They can't... Because it's round, they can't fall through the hole. Is that it? I think so. Oh, man. I, well, I guess I got the wrong answer then. I, <laughs> I have no idea, to be honest with you. Whoever that team is, they're probably not going to draft you. <laughs> Yeah, I guess not. But I mean, I was I had a great, I had great interviews all day today, and uh, I have a few more left, and I'm uh, hopefully ex enjoying this experience. How high? How important is it for you to get drafted really high? I think it's very important. I want to be in the first round. That's my goal. I think um, all the hard work I put in, still got hard work to go. I just got to go out here and show everybody in these workouts that I uh, deserve to be in the first round, and um, just show everybody I'm not just a scorer, and uh, that I can get others involved and uh, be a great team player. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Uh, still playing in the NBA. I think I'll be a really good NBA player. Um, I know I wouldn't have to score 25 again, but I think I'll ever, um, I can score the ball, get others involved, be a good leader. And I see myself being a George Hill or a Devin Harris type of player. What's been the highlight of your career so far? I'm just seeing myself improve each year and year, year in, out, um, year, in year out, every day, uh, just seeing myself get better and better, staying in the gym. And uh, just my progression from my freshman to senior year, being uh, averaging two points to being a nation's leading scorer, it's, it's just amazing how hard work pays off. Good stuff, man. Thanks so much. Thank you, man.